At number three, the culmination of one of Glory's longest rivalries was settled in the lightweight division between Sinichai and Marat Gregorian at Glory 57 in Shenzhen, China. This bout, which had the title on the line, proved to be their closest yet as Sinichai played Matador and countered Marat's relentless forward pressure, coming away with a split decision, putting him 4-0 against the Armenian and showing the fans that Sinichai is the better of the two and one of the best to ever step into Glory's ring. Also in the lightweight division, and at number two in our fights of the year, Josh Johnson and Stoyan Kopravinsky did battle at Glory 52 in LA. This encounter was a masterclass in technical expertise as the two went move for counter move in prolonged exchanges. Clean attacks, defense, and evasion made for a violent ballet which showcased the best kickboxing has to offer. Chauncey walked away with a split decision victory, but Koplarvinsky's stock still rose with the fight putting both in the top five of the division. And our top fight of the year was two of Glory's most experienced heavyweights coming in at the semifinals of Glory's eight-man heavyweight tournament at Glory 62 in Rotterdam. After both going through wars in their quarterfinals, Benjamin Adekbui and Jafar Wildness clashed until the end of the last round. This heavyweight slugfest was a war in which advantage passed back and forth. The two had a round apiece in the bag before Adekbui found a head kick finish, which ended the fight instantly and left Wildness hanging between the ring ropes. But Wilmus was a little rock when he came forward. That just landed flush. And he already high fives Benjamin adding Bowie. What a fight in our semifinals. This crowd is stunned.